What's up everyone? Dustbunny Major here from Slackers to Cover and welcome to another Let's Look At. Special thanks for this Let's Look At goes to Ehor of Games Den for reaching out and giving us a shot to try this one. This time we're checking out Viking Sigvud's Adventure, a simplistic yet challenging action platformer with a Norse thematic. Join our hero, the muscled marvel Sigvud the Viking, as he returns home to find his village in ruins, destroyed by the monstrous dragon Fafnir. 45 levels of axe chucking, sword swinging adventure between you and vengeance. Now, I've already put this game through its paces as far as I could go. Couldn't finish it, unfortunately, not for lack of trying, but we'll get, get to that in a moment. Viking Sigvud's Adventures difficulty is said to be developed for kids through teens, meaning the challenges it poses are a bit easier, the platforming forgiving, and the monster brawling somewhat tame. However, there are plenty of times that the awkward jump or moving platform will put you in harm's way suddenly, so repetition of some levels to learn aspects like enemy locations will be necessary. Now, let's go ahead and jump into the thing. As you may notice already here on the home screen, there's a couple of choices. As you progress level to level, you'll encounter coins and hidden runes that will aid you on your journey. Coins can be used to purchase new weapons, and runes will allow augments to your skills and abilities, like increases of damage, consumable drops, or coin gain. The store option is actually a currency exchange of the two. You can use one rune to get four to get 100 coins, or uh, one rune for 400 coins. Excuse me, I that's that's why I, I'm I'm looking at this and you can use one rune to get 100 coins, or pay 400 coins for one rune. The dyslexia is a thing. When, reading okay you get what I'm saying um, so let's go ahead head in and check out the trial the the tutorial thing which is the, the first level of the game I'm just gonna point this out for the, 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 the sheer sake of what I was trying to explain 400 for one or one for 100 so coins are worth less uh, in, in a nutshell, you get way more coins, and if you un increase the ability for coins to be gotten for the multiplier, you can buy a lot of these better weapons fairly quick. Skills, of course, the augments, like the amount of axes you can have to throw in your surplus, the damage each axe does, the damage your main swing does, things like that. So that, that's your skills. So, touching on that and going. Let's head over to the first level which is right over here first level three stars now of course each star has a condition pertaining to it you get one star for killing all the enemies in the area one star for collecting all of the coins and one star for collecting all of the hidden runes do these stars ultimately add up to something like secret levels or anything like that mm, i don't know you know that'll be you to find out it could just be for keeping track of what you've done in a level and what you need to improve on uh, but, you know, collecting everything is going to help you make Sigvert even stronger, and that's going to make it easier in the long run. So, it's not necessarily a bad thing to try to spend a little extra time in there to get everything. Now, Sigvert, of course, are a comic cartoon between story thing. By Odin's bid, what a noise comes from the village. Are they, they having a feast? Maybe Sigvert. Maybe. Here is our fine Viking pal here. Now... Controls are simple enough, WASD for the basic movements, space to jump, and space again to do a double jump in the air. If you do a little movement on here, you can just get a really nice long jump going. Combat is K for primary, L for your long range, and I to heal yourself. Upper left-hand corner, you can see the number of potions you have available that you found in the mission, and a number of hearts you have. Hearts are worth two hits each, meaning you've got six hits before you ultimately perish. Of course, if a keyboard, full keyboard, isn't your thing, left click, right click, and middle mouse button do the same thing as their KLI counterparts. Now, unfortunately, here's the downside to clearing a level fully is this is normally a box, a, a chest that a rune is in when you get all the runes and the stuff in the level. All the chests are open and empty. When you get all the coins, there are no coins for you to get in a level. There's no replaying a level to boost your abilities. You have to go through content you haven't completed yet in order to get any further on your character building, which unfortunately makes some of these uh, earlier stages kind of pointless to ever play through again because you're not getting anything out of them. Any consumable is, is easily gotten. 
elsewhere. Uh, they don't carry over between stages. You get refreshed whenever you enter a new stage. So it, it's it's really like you'll never come back to stage one ever again if you once you get three stars or pretty much any any stage once you get three stars. Now that was an easy platform there. Put the box on the platform. Now there would be tutorials showing up in this first stage, but since I've already completed, I guess it doesn't show up again. You can do damage to enemies falling down. The I believe that might be scaled to the amount of damage you do based on your augments and and or weapons. So some of these creatures you can kind of bounce on. Let's see. Yeah, that that does a pretty pretty good amount to these guys. I essentially do a two shot to him and I believe you're starting combat would do that much. I, I got a couple upgrades on my, my weapon. And I think this is the third tier weapon. So it's that. But here we are. Level complete. We'll go back to the main menu, which is the stage select, which should put you at your latest level you've completed, which isn't 100% true, but we'll get to that in a second. So, since we got through the starter stage, let's kick off our training wheels and check out the first boss. This big old bear used to be a Viking himself, so per the lore. So fair warning, you'll see some of your own attacks being used against you. Now, the first time I fought him, I didn't have any attack augments, and there's a good deal of dancing around his axes that he throws. If dodging isn't your thing, you might want to pump up those muscles before you two square off. Otherwise, you're going to have a bad time. So, let's have at it, Mr. Bear Man. Already fully completed this one. Now, I'm going to kind of speed through a little bit quicker than you probably would because normally there would be you no know, runes and you want to be killing enemies and collecting coins and whatnot. But, you know, since this is already cleared for me, I'm going to not do some of this. I just kind of run through to get to the boss to show off a couple things. One, the boss, and two, a odd little issue. <laughs> that, oh, kind of detracts from the game a bit, but we'll see. Yar, you must be insane if you dare come to my den. What kind of ferret is that? Who are you, anyway? I'm Finblem, the greatest warrior. No one can compare to me. I have the biggest paws, the biggest claws, the biggest fangs. Hmm. Dodgy, dodgy, dodgy. Roger, dodger. You shouldn't really go ball, uh, go all in with this guy. You should probably dodge his attacks just a little bit. I did get a um, did get uh, a replenish of my throwing axes in the process of that. Uh, a good tactic in this is to use your right click to throw your throwing daggers at the same time you left click. That way you can do a little bit extra damage. Now if you do it, if you time it too fast, one will overwrite the other. Like you will just, your your throwing thing will just disappear. But you know, this way, it it, it, it kind of helps whenever you run out of an enemy and you want to like really finish them off quickly before they have a chance to attack you because you only have so many hits. Now. Gonna have to do this again in a second, and I say that because... <sighs> so, with that and the bear defeated, you've cleared access into the next zone while everything is sunshine and rainbows, and it's actually a snowy nightmare with icy abominations and treacherous piss balls, but at least the first leg of your journey is completed, right? Well, that kind of goes into a couple things that I want to touch on. They're both positive and negative, and I'll cover each as I go in-game. So... For a simple yet challenging at moments platformer aimed at a younger player base, I enjoy the concept of it. It's PG, the only violence is some monster squashing action, there's no foul language, no gore, undesirable effects, anything of that nature. For a four ninety nine price point, which means it costs four ninety nine dollars, you know, price point. Sorry, I I worked in retail for way too long. Four ninety nine price point. It gives someone like like my eight year old nephew potential enjoyable experience while giving me the peace of mind that it's as vanilla as a Mario game. You know, you don't have to worry about anything crazy. Uh, it's down to earth and, you know, th there's no, like, crazy F-bombs, R-bombs, H-bombs, Q-bombs, anything like that happening. It's, it's it's a pretty chill game. 
Uh, language, a little bit broken English here and there, but language not the first. You know, language is a second language, you know, kind of thing. As long as it gets the point across in a story, I'm okay with that. You know, I, I, I'm not a grammar. I'm only a grammar Nazi for the people that I know and I work around. Everyone else, like, look, I know English is a hard language, <laughs> period. So I'm not going to knock anybody on that. Now, the thing is, Viking is very reminiscent of a mobile game port. Like you saw from the controls on the bottom right-hand corner, the stats in the upper left-hand corner, even like the boss fights itself, uh, it's very simplified out. And I don't know if that's a mobile port. Uh, I mean, if it quacks like a duck, if it walks like a duck, it might just be a duck. But is it a huge penalty in my eyes? I'd say normally it is, but this one kind of is a gray area since it is kind of very child-friendly-like. Uh, being that simplistic in the nature uh, uh, of a platformer, uh, I think the mobile-like structure it retains is beneficial. Uh, I don't know about you, but it seems like every kid under the age of 12 at this point plays games on a phone or a tablet. And there could be an argument <coughs> that the familiarity, you know, is something that they may recognize and might be a good way to trick them into playing the game. <laughs> I'm not saying, like, you know, you should just, you know, play the game. Isn't this something you know? Play it. Y you know how it is. Familiarity. Ad Band-Aids and adhesive medical strips. It's an adhesive medical strip. But everyone knows it as Band-Aids. Why? Because everyone's familiar with the term Band-Aid as a thing you put over a scratch or a sore. It's, but that's a brand name. It's, it's how you're familiar with something and how you use it in everyday life that makes you more prone to use things later on even if it's from something in a point on a platform that you don't normally use it on that's what I'm saying um, so maybe getting him to play something like this on a PC since he's relatively new to using PCs would be much easier since he has prior phone experience that's where I'm going at so that is a pro to me now <coughs> There are a couple things that irk me about Viking. And a few of those are trivial, and a few are a little bit more game-breaking. And we'll get to the game-breaking one if you haven't noticed it already. But we'll see it in a second, because I will show it off again for a couple times. Because I kind of had a game crash recording this already once. So, the protagonist looks different in load screens, conversations, and gameplay. Like, look... Look, 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 like, I did, I don't want to be nitpicky, but look, look, look at that for a quick second. D did you see it? Did you see it? I want to go back. Look at Sigvert, the guy on the left. Blonde hair, crazy looking, very detailed, has, you know, form fitting. Now, his conversational self is very cartoony, kind of looks the same, cartoony version. You know, whatever, maybe that's his more lighthearted conversation, talking to people, chill, he's a bit, a bit of a goofball for a Viking. All right, whatever, you know, they're, they're having back and forth conversation, it's fine. But what's the deal with this model? This model is not the same character. Kind of got the same armor, different color. Kind of got the same face, though not quite. His is more angular than, uh, than the other guy. And the hair, the hair and the color and stuff is way off. Like, I don't want to be nitpicky on this. I don't. But it's a glaring disconnect if you can't even get the color of, like, facial hair and stuff right. And it kind of gives me the, the bad feeling. It, it makes it look like some of the assets are kind of carelessly cobbled together. Like, make a match. It's your protagonist. It's your main squeeze. You want him to be perfect. Why isn't he perfect? But I digress. So, um, something that I have a, a concern with is uh, how do continue states work? Um, and I will perform this in a moment. I'll just pick a random level here. Let's go. Bam. Four. Now, Continue states, you'd imagine, would work like any other game. You reach a checkpoint, and when you die, you go back to the checkpoint. That makes sense, right? I mean, it, 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 that's everything we've been taught to make sense, is that the checkpoint is where you return 
when you die. And this, this that was, uh, you know, oh, that's just because I hadn't already. Look, it's a rune. Hadn't gotten that rune. So, let's find the checkpoint on this one. These are levels I'm not 100% uh, familiar with because I haven't run them a hundred times. <laughs> like, like I have with stage 15, which we'll, we'll cover again in a second. All right, excuse me. Throw a box at them. <laughs> That's right, throw a box at Mr. Wolf. Well, there goes that. Okay, checkpoint. Should be a checkpoint. Should, if I die, I should restart right there, right? That would make sense. Let's see if it happens. Okay, it happens. But I showed this just to prove a point. Sometimes, even if it's a flawless run, you've collected everything, killed everything, done everything, hit every single checkpoint, sometimes that's grayed out and you can't continue. Even if it's your first time in the level and you're just doing, you're just rocking and rolling, sometimes it's grayed out and you have to restart the entire thing over and there's no rhyme or reason to why. Why does it do that? There's no answers, no no explanation, no information, no help guide. There's no reason how, if, ish, why, would, and and that's frustrating. That is really frustrating in the in a platform game, especially when you're trying to do like a full gather kind of thing. Like I'm willing to bet I could die again right here, and it would probably work now for whatever reason. But some of these levels just it does not want to work, man, at all. And it's frustrating. It is really really frustrating see I came I watched ad I continued from checkpoint I conquered that's one of those moments that I really think it's a uh, it's a port from a mobile because you wouldn't have a watch ad in a PC thing maybe but it's usually not played on so there's no continue on some levels for maybe that purpose. Maybe it's a level in the port that you normally have an ad to watch to continue. And since this doesn't, it doesn't give the option to continue at all. I don't know. All right, we'll go back to the menu right now. And third and final problem with this, and and, and this is a this is a ball buster of a problem. What's the deal with stage 15? Now, this could be a, a failure to communicate moment. In which case, I digress, and I, I reject the issue, or, or with, withdraw the issue, so to speak. Uh, if the key I was sent for was for a quote-unquote trial of the game, that's one thing, you know? Um, it says in Steam it's just Viking Sigvard's Adventure. It doesn't say trial, it doesn't say beta, it doesn't say anything of this. So, I mean, if it is, then it is, whatever, my bad, we'll talk about that later kind of thing. If it's just the game, then we have a serious issue here. Now, I'll make it a, try to make it a point to inform the devs, regardless of of however this turns out and stuff. After I get this video up, but every time I complete stage 15, I can continue via the next option, like you would any other level that go to go to the next level. So, from 15 go to 16. When you complete 16, go to 17. Complete 17, go to 18. So, so much and so forth, as much as you want. Uh, in fact. Uh, I'm pretty certain I've gotten as far as like 29 before I went back to the menu. When you go back to the menu, uh, you can't go beyond 15. And 15 acts like you've never completed it, except you have. And can't click on 16, Mr. Mr. Bear's still here, even though you clearly saw earlier I totally beat Mr. Bear down to a pulp. So it makes any of the level select past 15 um, impossible. I can't click on any of these, which means I'd have to do a non-stop playthrough to get to the dragon down here, Mr. Tubby Dragon. So that's kind of a problem, you know? So let's say I'm, I'm just going to show just just 
even though technically I did complete it earlier, um, let's just have a a more a more focused viewpoint at it of what's going on. Quickly run through, quickly run through, hopefully get the first cycle of everything being done. No. Didn't get a first cycle. Oh well. I'm real good at speed running this. Cause I've I've been here a lot. I've been on fifteen many years now. More than I'd like to admit, honestly. Hey potion. Nice. I was really hoping for another potion, cause why not? Gotta kill the boy. What's up, bear throwing dude? I missed my throw. Oh well. Could probably just uh, bull rush through. Brute force it, so to speak, but yeah, actually, let's just do that. Alright. Oh, there was a couple things over here. No, I missed it. All right. Next, and just, just for extra, just for extra confirmation, I'm actually gonna clear out level 16 as well. This one I've run a couple times as well. You and your 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 ice spitty nonsense. No potion, jerk. If you want to have some kind of fun, you can actually kind of like jump on this guy. See if I can get it done. No? Oh, I'm gonna die. Okay. Um, I had a thing with this guy one time that uh, if you land on it right, you can... Let's see if I can do this again. No. I, I had this moment where I, I hit him like right there and uh, I jumped up and I got frozen on top of him. And it was just... Instead of one hop on his face, it was like, hop, 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 dead. It actually made me laugh pretty hard. But the enemy, uh, en you can, enemies, you can do that sometimes. Uh, done it to a wolf as well. Uh, he walked off an edge of a cliff he was patrolling, and uh, he couldn't get back up, and you could just jump on him, and essentially it freeze-framed my character and the wolf, and that was it. So, level 16 cleared but here we are back to being at level 14 and level 15 and no possible way to get to 16 so that's pretty game breaking guys I mean unless I want to do a gauntlet run all the way through non-stop hitting next 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 at some point I'm gonna have to go through and upgrade stuff in the menu and then I just have to rinse and repeat Back from 15, and that's yeah, not gonna happen. Sorry. Now, it's very reminiscent in the NES game, stylized of uh, a lot of the character models are repeated with just different shades based on location, um, such as the wolves. These guys, they even make the same noises. Essentially, these are. Also wolves, just flamey. Also spiders. Also bats. I don't know, like, these are like one of the first unique, what, rock creature? Did I see a rock creature anywhere else? No? Okay, there's there's a couple unique ones here and there that only... Uh, but I mean, realistically, I guess there would be species, uh, varying species of the same... Varying types of the same species that live all over the place no matter where, so... Can't really, can't really touch them on that, but yeah, I, I just wanted to make sure that was a confirmation that that issue exists. And like I said, I will, if I remember, see if I can uh, contact the devs on that one because that's kind of a big deal, you know. But anyway, would I continue a let's play on this? Probably not. 
Even, even if the thing's fixed, I mean... <sighs> okay, let's, if the thing's fixed, maybe. Uh, but I, I don't know about getting all the stars and stuff, because that's, that's, that's a lot of play. I have more play than I like to admit at this point. <laughs> I'm just getting to where I was uh, at 15 with the number of points and stars and stuff I have. I think, I think I'm at like five or six hours. Um, yeah. This is Viking Sigvard's Adventure. Again, thank you to Ehor of Game Den for, you know, he's still giving us the shot to try it. Uh, I had a little bit of fun here and there with it. Is it for more of the younger kids? It is. I'm not going to lie that, but uh, there is some challenging stuff that older older folks like myself and adults would enjoy it. It does get very challenging at times, uh, especially when you're in new zones and uh, you don't know if you can continue or not. That That's definitely a challenge point. It's like hardcore mode. Let's go. Oh, it's, uh, it's something all right. So, hey. Thank everyone for watching. Thanks for hanging out. For more news and information on what's going on, what may be, check out the description below. Links to this game, all the information about it. Links to the uh, any information on the Game Den, which I believe is the publisher and a real check who's developer. If I have that switch, I apologize. My system crash killed the notes I had written, so I'm kind of going off of memory on this. And links to the Steam page will also be available. Hey, this is Dust Bunny from Slackers and Cover. Thanks for stopping by, guys. I'll talk to you later. Take care. Bye.